Hey there, Bar. It's Pastor Joel, and it is time for a Rise and Build Prayer on Thursday night, and we are just really glad to be together. Hopefully, uh, you guys have ha been having a good week, and we're excited about this weekend coming up and what God will do. But, you know, prayer is this gift that lets us come and connect with the Father anytime. Uh, it's a time for us to uh, be close, to be intimate, to, to hear from Him and to let him hear us for our hearts to come in alignment with his. And so I'm going to pray for us now as a church and pray for our future and our call um, to move forward, to uh, to take the hill, to build the hill, to, uh, to grow into this great plan and gift that God has for us. So right now, if you would pray with me, please. My father. I'm just overwhelmed at your goodness. I'm overwhelmed at your provision. I'm overwhelmed at your faithfulness. Father, I'm, I'm so grateful for the call you have given our church, Lord. And I pray, Father, we would in faith take it and move forward. And yet, Father, I know that it's not about a building. It's not about a, a, a place. It's always about the place you are taking up in our heart and the building that you're doing in our lives. So God, I ask that you would grow us, that we would rise, that we would mature, that we would uh, level up, uh, that we would just, uh, just take new ground, Father. We would uh, trust you in new ways, uh, areas that we've been our own Lord in, that we would let your Lordship come out and, and, and be expressed. Lord, uh, if we've had doubts, I pray for us to rise in our faith. If, if we've been greedy, I pray that we would rise in our generosity. If we've been uh, fearful, I pray that we would rise in our boldness, in our courage. Lord, I, I pray for the sick. Church is commanded to do that. That's uh, We gotta be about that. Pray for the hurting the abused, the neglected, the lonely, um, the sad and the brokenhearted. Uh, pray for those that have we've, as we've hit this kind of seemingly one year milestone with the pandemic and COVID that for those that have had a funeral in the past year and have an empty place uh, at the table, we pray for peace and healing and comfort. For those whose lives have been turned upside down by a change in rhythm or ability to earn money or um, just economically, Father, we pray for provision for those that are in the front lines and those that are still at risk and those that, that are out in um, harm's way in the medical community and first responders, we pray for protection. Lord, um, You've given us this future, this call as a church to, to outgrow this building and grow into the next building. And in some ways, this pandemic has really um, bring a, brought us back in some ways. But in some ways, God, I'm convinced it has really propelled us forward. I pray, Father, we would as a church, as leaders, that me, Kim, that, 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 that we all would be more about the table than the stage, more about the neighborhood than the building. Father, would you just let us um, experience community, that we would abide in community, that, that we would know that that's how we are to live. I pray, Father, that... Uh, you would let us become closer to you than ever. That, um, Father, we would understand what it means to be servants, what it means to wash others' feet. Um, Father, there's just, there's, there's no shortage of things to pray through and for. And yet, Father, I'm just, I'm leading and getting and going. But I pray right now that those of us listening, that, that everyone that is, part of this, just, just listening now, they would, when I stop praying, they would continue to pray. 
and that, that we would continue to go before you and we would continue to make our uh, fears become faith declarations. We would take our cares and turn them into prayers, knowing, Father, what Paul wrote to the Philippians, that when we take all of our prayers to you and all kinds of requests, that you, Father, will send peace, the kind of peace that passes understanding, to stand guard at the, the gate, the door of our heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This holy guard will protect our hearts and minds from worry, from anxiety, from fear, because instead of stressing about it, we have just um, set it before you, Father. We've presented, we've all our cares have become prayers. Uh, thank you for this time. Thank you for what you're doing in our church. Thank you for new families, new uh, initiatives, for excitement, for, for, for rise, Father. Let us rise in our relationship um, with you and ourselves and others. Let us rise, grow, mature in our intimacy um, with you, Father. We want to know you, Jesus. And let us rise in our service, in our servant-heartedness, in our uh, sacrificial spirit. Let us rise. And then in our evangelism, in our uh, urgency, <clears throat> our urgency to, um, to take the good news to the ends of the earth, or at least to the people we know. Pray for our missionaries. Pray for those that are constantly um, sharing their faith, that you would be big to them and strong for them, and that you would use all of us, all of us, Father, in your redemptive mission effort. Thank you for Bard Church, God. Thank you for this moment, this time, this pause, that we can pray, we can, we can just stop and listen and sit at your feet. Hear our prayers now, Father. We love you. We need you. And we thank you. We say again, with regards to our future on the hill, across the way, the God of heaven has given us success. Therefore, we, his servants, will arise and build. Thank you, Father, for the call you've given us. We love you. It's through your beautiful name that I pray for a church that I love. Amen. All right, Bar, let's, let's keep praying. Let's continue this prayer. You continue this prayer. Know that Kim and I love you, and we are praying for you as well.